morning everyone it is thursday my mom has the kids for the day because i have a project i need to try to my best to get done um so i think i told you in the last vlog that we are turning our spare bedroom into a uh, toy room for the kids so that's my project today i've got to just put everything up before i went on vacation i kind of went through all the kids clothes and I need to go ahead and store all their winter clothes and I need to um, just, you know, find homes for everything. And then if, if I can't find a home for something, then I need to just get rid of it. So here's my never ending project with the spare room, but I'm hoping this is the last time I'm going to be tackling it as the spare room. Um, you know, once it's a toy room, then I'll just pick it up the toys for the kids. But So here it is again. Um, we are still keeping our office in here. And so I've got to figure out, I think I'm going to use one of the, um, we've got that pen out in the living room, the play pen. And so I think I'm going to use one of the, um, pieces and like just go across our, uh, desk area so that the kids can't get underneath there where the cords and stuff are, um, just to make it a little safer for them. But this room of course is a lot bigger than their little play area out there and I'm hoping that this will kind of satisfy them um of course they might want out every now and then but for the most part this will be their play area i've been working on this room for several hours now um it is four o'clock and um actually yeah four o'clock so um i'm just going to be taking a break real quick i went ahead and manhandled the bed <laughs> and got it downstairs so um, my husband will be putting that in storage on saturday but um, I just want to give you a sneak peek of what it looks like so far. Okay, so I kind of boxed in the little computer area, which is these these gates. If you are looking for a gate for your kids, I love them. Um, this one that I, I've got one that doesn't have a door, but I do like the door as well. And so I'm going to have my husband probably attach the sides to the wall so that they can't pull it down. Um, I've got plenty of room over there. I do need to organize that desk though because so yeah, that's where the bed used to be. I've put his little tent up and I'm slowly dragging in the toys. They've got a lot of toys. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is going through some of them and dividing them out into toys that um, they kind of currently play with and then toys that they're not really playing with right now and then put a few like in a tote and then switch them out every couple weeks um, just so they get that feeling of a brand new toy. I will say that after being in Mississippi for a week, when we came back, they seen all their toys that we didn't take with us, and they were in heaven. So, I'm definitely going to try that method. There are some things that I need to do in here, definitely childproof. I need to take the curtains down, I believe, um, because they are going to probably be hanging from them like monkeys. Um, I also need to find um, these little latches that go on the doors so that it'll keep my closet door shut so they can't get into there. Also, this little cabinet, um, we keep our blankets and stuff in. I went ahead and put Keandre, which is my cousin, if you've watched previous vlogs. He comes and visits every so often. Um, I went ahead and took his toys out of the um, toy box and I put them in that tote because there's a lot of toys in there that aren't um, you know age appropriate for my children and I don't they had pieces and just different things in them I don't want my children choking on them so I put them up there and so when he comes over and stays he has his toys in one area um, I also need to put like the little uh, safety things on the dresser so they can't pull the drawers out on that one and that one um, but I think that's about it I'm probably gonna have to put something on the door to keep it from shutting because Ryan is in the whole shutting door phase um, we basically have like a hook in the baby's room which was actually it's been there forever but it's a hook and it holds the door open so they can't close it um, so I think I might do the same method in here um, just because again Ryan she's into opening and closing doors now um, and she has closed her brother in a door before <laughs> okay guys it's done for the most part I mean I still have a few things I need to do in here but for the most part it's done I did take the curtains down and 
at first I was kind of like, oh, we need curtains. But now I'm kind of looking at it and it makes the room look a little bit bigger. And I'm not sure if it's just because it lets so much more light in or what. Um, so I did leave the um, curtain rod holders up just in case my husband doesn't like the way it looks. But I, I think he's going to be okay with it. So I have organized their toys and um, I've kind of just, there's a window without the curtain. And there's the other one. Um, I've kind of just lined them up along the wall right there. I did take a bunch of their toys that I know that they don't really play with too much. And I've stacked them up there for right now. Um, I plan on getting a tote though. And, um, you know, just store them a little bit better. But, um, and then probably just up there. Or I've got room in my closet. I might end up storing them up there as well. So, but yeah, it's done. My husband should be grabbing the kiddos. Um, he gets off work here soon. And then I will video them playing in here. I'm excited. So, unfortunately, my husband had to work extra late tonight. And he was um, taking care of picking up the children for me. So, they are pretty late. Um, as soon as they get home, I'm going to have to put them to bed. So, I'm not going to be able to film them playing in their new play area. But it's alright. I'll get a bunch of video tomorrow. It allowed me to clean up the living room area too and try to figure out how to block some things off. I put the rest of the gate that I had right there in front of the fireplace because um, we do have the like bumper thing that goes around the fireplace but we've got a lot of cords and everything here due to the TV being up here, the you know, sound system, all that. So. The bumper's not going to cut it right now um, because the kids are just grabbing at anything and everything they can get their hands on. So I figured if I do it this way, it's less. <laughs> you, they'll hear me saying no a lot less than if I were to just put the bumper things on and let them have at it. So, um, so yeah, I was able to do that. The rest of my house, though, is a complete disaster because I just have to figure out where to put things that was in the spare room I had a bunch of books in there I got to figure out new places to put those yeah so I just I just had that southern twang just now <laughs> but anyway so I just have a lot to do tomorrow but um, I'm glad I got the kids room done and um, that way they can kind of hang out in there during the day while I'm cleaning up the rest of the house hey everyone it is the afternoon <laughs> it's um around 2 30 now um the kids got home last night probably around um i think it was 8 30 9 o'clock and at first we were just going to put them to bed but then um they kind of woke up so we let them play in the playroom and they enjoyed themselves um today we've been um playing again in the playroom and i kind of go from here to the living room sometimes they want to um, bounce in their little jumpy thing and then sometimes they want to just walk around in their walkers and of course if they just want to be free i've been putting them back in the playroom and they've been doing okay they um they've always had this issue with me leaving the room so whenever i leave the playroom my ryan will just sit there and cry uh, wanting me to come back and so I've kind of been going in and out throughout the day trying to get her used to me just leaving and coming back um, the other issue is is that when she's playing with a toy Carter thinks he needs to play with it as well and he will steal it from her or at least try to and then they get into this big argument um, so yeah it's just uh, you know just sibling <laughs> problems but you know, that's stuff that they're just going to have to learn. Um, I've kind of let them just duke it out a little bit. And, you know, if they get really fussy at each other, then I'll kind of set them down and just tell them to share. But, of course, I'm sure they don't really understand what I'm saying. But, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. Um, so, yeah, here they are. Here's Miss Ryan. Say hi. Do you like your playroom? Hi. You like your playroom? <laughs> oh goodness gracious oh goodness gracious hi bye hi Now you do it. Here. 
You can't. You're trying to get it with your toes. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Here. There you go. Good job. Yeah, good job. Oh. It's about nap time, isn't it? It's about nap time. Yeah. So anyway, again, it's a hit. Um, there's still some things I've got to do around in here. I need to, you know, get the safety things on the closet and on the wardrobe thing. Um, and then I have been cleaning up the house all day. That's why I haven't vlogged much. Um, I've got a lot of items that were in here that just need new homes. And so they are scattered throughout my house. My husband about had a heart attack last night. He was very excited to see, um, you know, the room and the living room. But he wasn't too impressed with where everything ended up, which is in our bedroom and in the hallway area. But um, I'm slowly getting it taken care of. So um, I just, it's just a lot of stuff we've got to find new homes for. Or, um, you know, new homes for in this house. Or we actually have to find a new home for it. So um, slowly but surely. Peekaboo! Um, today's been a pretty busy day. Um, we went to Melody Makers this morning. The kids did very well. It seemed like all the kids had just woken up from naps, um, including my two. So it was kind of a quiet <laughs> Melody Maker session. 
um, but they still had fun and then after that we ended up going to get daddy some lunch we took that to him and his workers because they have got a lot of DJ gigs going on this weekend weddings and parties and whatnot uh, and we got to spend a little bit of time with him uh, the kids haven't seen him for probably you know we were gone for the whole week so they didn't get to see him at all for the time that they were with me and then when we've gotten back they've only seen him a few hours here and there uh, because he's just been so busy this weekend has been crazy for him he has been staying up till three in the morning and getting up at six to go to work and then it's just crazy so i um, very very grateful for him and his hard work um, he actually has to DJ again tomorrow night so hopefully he'll get to see them a little bit before he goes but um, come next week hopefully it'll slow down and things will kind of get back to normal we did end up going to this little like Earth Day festival thing that we had going on locally. Um, the kids really didn't get to do much. They did get to participate in the petting zoo, which was pretty cool. But Ryan loves animals. She just absolutely loves animals. So um, she was excited to be able to pet the different animals. I think they got to pet the goats and the horses. And um, they even had a little doggy there that she liked. Um, Carter, he was, eh, he liked to climb the cages that the animals were in. That's what he wanted to do. Um, my mother-in-law did get some pictures and um, hopefully she'll be able to send them to me and I can show them to you. Uh, but we had a good day. Uh, it is probably, it's five o'clock now. So we are just hanging out. They did take a little bit of a nap when they got home and just eating some cookies. Of course, I put the paper plates down, but like that's going to stop them from making a mess. Found a cookie. Mm -hmm. 